Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with NetApp SolidFire, and I'm here with Chris. Chris, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Chris Gaughan, Director of Strategy at Aprenda. So we were just hanging out here at uh, DockerCon, my first DockerCon. Is this your first DockerCon? It is. It's my first. So uh, what what's the top thing on your mind here? What are you learning? What are you thinking about? What's the container space mean to you? Yeah, so I believe uh, the thing that we wanted to get out of this conference and to get the, I guess, the feel of the people that are here is how, where are they in their stages of deploying Docker containers? Because uh, are they in, at the stage where they're going into product, production and using them and they need some type of container orchestration uh, tooling like Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is just this you know, um, massive project that came out of uh, Google. It's 11 months out of beta. Has uh, 30,000 commits thus far. So it's just a huge open source project with lots of momentum. And it's just a really great way to um, orchestrate Docker containers. So I w was wondering like, from the audience, uh, how many of them are using K Kubernetes and a surprising number of them are currently actually in production with Kubernetes and you know how what are they going to do going forward and so what's early research indicating are you what's a what's the word on the street here yeah I mean out of the companies that we talked to um, I would say pretty much 40 to 50 percent are already using Kubernetes and the other ones are very interested in it heard it have not kicked the, kicked the tires yet but plan to do so in the next year or so. All right, we're also having a conversation. Of course, we're standing here in front of the NetApp booth. Um, where on the street is developers hate storage, but you had a story to tell me there. So what a prompt, but let's hear what you got to say. Yeah, developers do not hate storage. That's actually one of the first things they ask for um, when they're deploying their application. So now they have an application. They have all these different components. What they typically need is a database, but they also need some type of like file storage or storage in general from central IT. Now. Like, you would think that that would be easy to get, like, you know, they could just get some storage, but there's all these compliance issues. They don't want storage, like, blowing up and going, you know, to the stratosphere as far as costs go. So uh, we did, like, an integration with NetApp so that, uh, with NetApp on tap, actually, so that developers can easily access so storage and they get, like, a, their own file storage because that's, like, the number one thing that they, they ask for. And it's easy to do. It's compliant. It's, you know... Uh, has all their regulations already in there, baked in, so they don't have to worry about that. So what's the coolest thing you've seen here so far? Uh, the coolest thing I've seen thus far, I, I believe, is... Huh, let me think. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, first off, these little... Oh, yeah, we got to do this. Check this out. <laughs> when they actually work, these are the coolest things. So uh, this is a company that I guess Docker is using to do like uh, the event app and then all the scanning of badges. And it's almost like a, a replacement for LinkedIn because you have everybody's information. So that's really cool. I mean, just the, the number of uh, companies that are here and what they're doing from Intel to IBM to uh, Microsoft and all the stuff that they're doing on the .NET side with, uh, with uh, Docker is just amazing. Very cool. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.